What is acarbose and how does IT work? Acarbose is a prescription medication used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Acarbose is available under the following different brand names, Precos. What are dosages of acarbose? Adult dosage. Tablet. 25 mg. 50 mg. 100 mg. Type 2 diabetes mellitus. Adult dosage. Initially 25 mg orally every 8 hours, at meals, with the first bite. Can increase to 50 or 100 mg orally every 8 hours at 4 to 8 weeks intervals based on 1 hour postprandial glucose or glycosylated hemoglobin levels, and tolerance. Maximum dose. Weighing below 60 kg, 50 mg every 8 hours. Weighing above 60 kg, 100 mg every 8 hours. What are side effects associated with using acarbose? Common side effects of acarbose include Stomach discomfort Gas Bloating Mild diarrhea, or Mild skin rash or itching Serious side effects of acarbose include Severe constipation. Severe stomach pain. Watery or bloody diarrhea. Easy bruising. Unusual bleeding, nose, mouth, vagina, or rectum. Purple or red pinpoint spots under your skin, or liver problems nausea, upper stomach pain, itching, tired feeling, loss of appetite, dark urine, clay-colored stools, jaundice yellowing of the skin or eyes. What other drugs interact with acarbose? If your medical doctor is using this medicine to treat your pain, your doctor or pharmacist may already be aware of any possible drug interactions and may be monitoring you for them. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicine before checking with your doctor, healthcare provider, or pharmacist first. Acarbose has serious interactions with the following drugs. Ethanol, Pramlantide. What are warnings and precautions for acarbose? Contraindications. Documented hypersensitivity to acarbose. Diabetic ketoacidosis, cirrhosis, inflammatory bowel disease, colonic ulceration, partial intestinal obstruction or predisposed to intestinal obstruction, known marked absorptive impairment of GI. Conditions that may deteriorate as a result of increased gas formation in the GI tract. Cautions. No clinical studies exist establishing conclusive evidence of macrovascular risk reduction with acarbose or any other anti-diabetic drug. When diabetic patients are exposed to stress such as fever, trauma, infection, or surgery, a temporary loss of control of blood glucose may occur. At such times, temporary insulin therapy may be necessary. Monitoring glycemic control with 1,5 AGSA is not recommended. Measurements of 1,5 AG are unreliable in assessing glycemic control in patients taking acarbose. Use alternate methods to monitor for glycemic control. Hypoglycemia As per its mechanism of action, the drug should not cause hypoglycemia, when administered alone, in the fasted or postprandial state. Sulfonylurea agents or insulin may cause hypoglycemia because when given in combination with a sulfonylurea or insulin combination treatment will cause further lowering of blood glucose, it may increase the potential for hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia does not occur in patients receiving metformin alone under usual circumstances of use. Increased incidence of hypoglycemia is not observed when acarbose added to metformin therapy. Oral glucose, dextrose, whose absorption is not inhibited by acarbose, should be used instead of sucrose, cane sugar, in the treatment of mild to moderate hypoglycemia. Sucrose, whose hydrolysis to glucose and fructose is inhibited by acarbose, is unsuitable for rapid correction of hypoglycemia. Severe hypoglycemia may require the use of either intravenous glucose infusion or glucagon injection. Elevated serum transaminase. Treatment emergent elevations of serum transaminases, AST and or ALT, above the upper limit of normal, ULN, were reported, although differences between treatments were statistically significant, elevations were asymptomatic, reversible, more common in females, and, in general, were not associated with other evidence of liver dysfunction. 
62 cases of serum transaminase elevations above 500 IU L, 29 of which were associated with jaundice, were reported, hepatic abnormalities improved or resolved upon discontinuation of therapy in the majority of cases, cases of fulminant hepatitis with fatal outcome reported, relationship to acarbos unclear. Pregnancy and lactation may be acceptable during pregnancy. Lactation not known if crosses into breast milk, avoid using in nursing women.